got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals, but only half these gonks will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. No, my metal teeth. No, they took that away from me too. Legends, know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Matters not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In uh. that city. The city of dreams. The chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Half a year Speaking later. Which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Militech. Jack, we're talking classified military grade tech here. How did you get it? T Bug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Thinks she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her, uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Yeah? Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. All right. VR. Hmm, I thought we were gonna have power and fame and connections and money for a little while longer, but we've descended down a hell in the blink of an eye. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Hope you're ready to bust ass through this fascist playground. Okay. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm-up. Okay. M10A5 Lexington. Hmm? Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Boom, boom, Arasaka. Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover. Got it. Critical headshots. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. Max stock make one. 40% health. Consumable quick slot X. Head to the training area when you're good to go. Okay. All right. I'm kind of imagining. Uh, oh my god. Brought some tombs with him this time. You know what to do. Here. I do. I'm imagining I'm like a wimpy corporate nerd learning to fight for the first time. 
But I assume that's probably not it, you know? I'm not that bad at protecting myself. Especially if my job routinely requires that I get in contact with and kill people. Try to do a hit job and all that. Dude, I wonder if my boss misses me. Probably not. <laughs> Better come around here. Is there a melee attack? I don't know it yet. Framework V. Stand on the platform and we'll move on. Ooh, yeah. Hacking's the next item on the menu. Might notice I tweaked the course material a bit. I should be good at this. Tab to activate my scanner. Oh, I gotta hold it. Job-related items highlighted in gold. Scan two such objects to get information. Oh, I didn't see it. If it... oh. Explosive server, vulnerabilities, malfunction and overload. Hacking. No, not yet. The, the computer here. Scan results computer. Takeover malfunction. Hazards are red. Hackable is green. Useful stuff is blue. So hackable is green. Surveillance camera. Actions. Technical ability 5. Can I do it? I'm pressing Z right now, but nothing's happening yet. This training module will teach you how to work a little hack oh. magic on the screen to distract the guard. Sorry. Got a little bit hasty here. With a cyber deck installed, your scanner provides an additional interface for selecting quick hacks in their targets. Do I have that? Distract enemy. Okay. These cost two things. RAM. Cyber deck RAM 3 out of 3. Okay, I'll do distract enemies. How do I select it? Oh, when I'm hacking, this, the time kind of slows down. I'm trying to figure out how to select it right now. Yeah, navigate the list and I'm... Um, execute, F. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him... <laughs> almost, almost. Again, from the top. I gotta listen to instructions better. Okay, Work. so we gotta distract them. Mm hmm. Oop, wrong one. A little hack magic on the screen to distract. No worries. Try again. Sorry, I keep messing up. I gotta just calm down and slow down. Work a little hack mag magic on the screen to distract the guard. Corpo trash. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. He's wondering, hey, what's all going right, on? All yours. Take him out. Non-lethal. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork. Especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Oh, this is very Deus sexy. Dumping bodies in certain places to avoid detection. And we happen to have uh, some kind of a container here. Okay. Now, try to take him down in one slick move. Perfect. What does that teach you? Don't stand in front of garbage cans. Electronic device. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun! Gonks? Taking control of devices. The camera. Camera control. Three RAM cost. More advanced quick hacks allow you to use the environment or enemies to your advantage. While in control of a camera or turret, you can still quick hack. 
You don't have enough RAM units to use the Nate grenade quick hack. Breach protocol can be used to trigger network wide effects. Use it now to reduce the RAM cost of all quick hacks. To upload the Ice Pick Demon, you must recreate its code sequence by selecting characters from the code matrix. The characters you select will be visible in the buffer, okay? Breach protocol always begins with the first row active. Select 55 from the code matrix. So this is the code I gotta get, and this is what I am selecting from. 55. 55. BD 55. Now, detonate the grenade. Oh, that's insane. We don't have to do anything. Just watch them kill themselves. Wow. See? Just needed to shut your brain down and follow orders. In true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you're a real champ. Take your spot on the podium. Not too shabby. Militech's algorithms put you on a decent run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Or you finish up, dealt out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. Let's keep going. Stealth. Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. Tag a target with my optical cyberware. Aim and press... Accidentally tried attacking him. <laughs> Tag all the guards. Oh, there's one more. There's a few more, actually. Enemies that are unaware of your presence will continue their routines. Pay attention to their behavior patterns and use what you learn to sneak around them. Okay. Hostile area. I took my hands out. I don't know how to, like... Put my hands back. <laughs> Holding his block. So what am I trying to do here? Just... Get to that area? But everyone's looking right now. Oh! That guy saw me. When you enter an enemy's line of sight, their alert indicator will begin to fill. Find cover, quick! <laughs> nice, nice! Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. This is kind of hard in... First person, huh? Because we can't look around walls and stuff. Oh, we can. We can. Can I hack him? Can I hack anything? Anything to help me? Stealthy now, V. You ever relive a ninja BD? Just like that. I think we just gotta let them see us a little bit. It's not possible for us to just not be seen completely. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! I wanted to dump the body somewhere, but uh... No worries. Try again. Okay, thank you, thank you. This is why we're doing this. Tutorial, yeah. I don't think you can avoid detection completely though, because you gotta walk across, right? So you just gotta let them see you a little bit at the minimum. Find cover, quick. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Should I just ignore the guy then? Because I thought if I go here, he might see me. That's my reasoning for why I was trying to kill him. Nova, well done. On to the next area. He did see me. The guy, at the very last second, he noticed me. But it's okay, we can just walk past him. Security systems, turrets and cameras, which can trigger alarms or alert enemies. Now the same thing, only with the camera. You can tag a target. Something there? I can't see it. Oh, am I trying to go over there? Oh, oh, it's seen me. 
Hostile cameras have orange scanning beams. Friendly ones have green. Cameras will detect you if you enter their field of vision, but they do not register noise. Okay. Doesn't move v, around. You're not a gonk brained Militech recruit. Get moving. Sorry, sorry, but it's seeing me right now. What do I it's moving. The beams are moving. If it doesn't care about noise, it means I can run. Yeah? Is that the implication? I think so. Does it see me immediately, or can I run past a little bit? I guess I can run a little bit. Nice work today. Just stand on the platform to exit. All right. Sorry. Some advanced combat techniques for dessert. Then we wrap this party up. Okay. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Take him down. But careful. Looks tough. He looks like... Oh, he's an Arasaka guy. He looks like a samurai. But I can't... I can't get him because he's so gigantic. Grappling strong enemies. He's a much higher level than me. He can free himself from my grapple. Defeating them is extremely difficult, so proceed with caution. Okay, that'll do. Now maybe we find someone closer to your weight class. Wait, what do I do with the guy then? All I did was grapple him, but then we didn't learn how to defeat him. <laughs> okay. Tap, fast attack. What is coming off of you? Fast combo, press while the fast attack, the previous one is being executed. Strong attack. Continuously attacking your enemies will drain your stamina. Fast attacks and strong attacks have different stamina costs. Your current stamina is a bar above your HUD at the very top. And I have very little stamina right now. Your enemy's blocking, strike him and see Let's how it- things up from easy to normal. This next fool can block your attacks. So he's not really getting hurt. Fast attacks will not damage a blocking enemy, only strong attacks. We break it, and then we keep going. We can block too. Dull bit coming up now. Lock and blows instead of dealing. But I can't take strong attacks either. Stamina costs for blocking. If my stamina drops to zero, my blocking will break. Your enemies' strong attack can break your blocking stance in the same way your strong attacks can break theirs. Should I try? Yep. Counter an enemy attack two times. Block just before getting hit. To deflect it and automatically deal the enemy a counter blow. Now this fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. Well, the timing is actually kind of tight. Or not. Dodge. Double tap. Ooh. I like that. V, want to see this fool punch in air next. Don't let him land anything. Use all the techniques so far to defeat the enemy. You've done well in mastering the way of the fool, young apprentice. That was fast. Let's move on to melee what? weapons. Grab a sword. That was fast. I want to learn how to defeat the big guy. Katana, sharp and lethal. Be careful not to cut yourself. The melee combat techniques also work here. Ow, I can't really block that. Maybe a tattoo easy. Good. Now show me what you've learned. 
Final test, range of weapons and a cyber deck. Mix of enemies, defeat them however you choose. I want to say hacking, but we can't really hack while we're in combat, right? So probably I'm going to focus more on just melee attack right now. And we can't hack anything anyway. No, this is the melee attack tutorial. The combat tutorial, so I don't think there's hacking in here. Good stuff. What? Looks like you're cruising already. It's too easy. Hop on the platform. Okay, if it's really too easy later on, we'll bump up the difficulty. We're on normal right now. We good? Good luck, V. Thanks. T-bug. T-bug is it? Oh, are we ever gonna go back to our office? It's like... There's so many places I haven't looked at yet. Man. So? Not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Mukako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. So it sounds like for the past six months, I've been hanging out with new friends and I'm not really that corporate drone anymore. I don't know what we're doing here, though. Hello. Sorry, Jackie. Elevator. This way. My journal. The rescue. Wakako Okada's got us a gig. Fixer got an SOS call from one of her clients, Sandra Dorset. All signs point to her having been plucked off the street by scavengers. Motherfuckers are in the biz of carving people up and selling her implants on the black market. Think it's time we pay them a visit. What do you say, Chica? Did Jackie write this? Hmm. Implants. Taking people's implants illegally. I imagine that might be quite a problem. Aliens kidnapped my wife and kids. Help me celebrate. Oh, congratulations. Make moves, Chica. Hold on, hold on. Just gonna have a look around here. Is there anything we can take? Where are we? Parking lot? Ah! Crystal decanter. Take it all, take it all. Sinweave Armor Layered Psycho Bomber. V! Yes! I'm sure our client can wait. It's not like she's having... Her implants taken out of her, ripped out of her body right now. <sighs> Handcuffs. Perfume. It's probably all just junk. But it's new junk, you know? I haven't seen it before. Oh. Oh. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. We have a friendship squad. Bug, could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. That's just who she is. Why is my gun out? Oh, I rolled my mouse. Okay. Apartments. Cards. Oh. What was that? Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Hurrying. Is, is that you? Ooh. I don't want you to get hurt. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Yeah, I do. Remote deactivation. Two RAM. around the corner though 
Do we want to look around a little bit? No, that's it. Hostile area. Great. Great. Are we fucking late? Is that her? Is that our target V? Hold on one second. What's this? V. I'm pressing use, but it's Chica. oh nut. Fresh meat. Your favorite supplier, Gomp. We won't forget. You're a dead man walking. Victor to Blaze, you're fucked. Check it, that's her. Sorry, you know what? I'm gonna go look at that first. Oh, shoot. Xander Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Getting implants? Whether you're poor or rich probably really changes the experience just because. Ugh, oh, just look at that. All the blood everywhere. Crap. Hold on, this might help. Okay. Victor to Blaze, you're fucked. If any of your lackeys show up here again, they're in for worse than a split jaw. That's not an MC threat. Try me, motherfuckers. We won't forget, you're a dead man walking. Okay. This is just the internet, I guess. Okay, I'm not gonna read the internet now. Hmm. Yeah, we scanned her. We got information right away. Corpse. Critical cyberware v. missing. Yeah, yeah. V, Mira, eyes up. Then the house I hid. Drop him quiet, V. Cyberware usage and its effects. Careful now. How many we got? Four. Two of them chip. Did good shit. Let them sell it up. That's good scrap for boosters at the clinic. On your toes. More bodies ain't coming. They're almost on you. Need to find a single biofreepers. Score big on that prima scrobe she's got. Hide from the scavenger is optional. Oh, okay, look. We can hack him? Would that be a good idea? Breach protocol? How many of them are there, though? Which one? I can tag him, right? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them in here! Holy crap! Wait while staying unnoticed. Oh my god. Take the other one, okay? Damn right. Hold down, limp meat. But probably not the last of them. Move on, fall. Right behind you, V. Can't hide forever, 
shoot. I probably should have dragged them a little bit further away, right? Oh, man. I'm trying to drop the body. Hey, motherfucker! You're a bitch! Wait, they know someone's here, but they don't know who. Cause I didn't hide the bodies. Man, I hate this cowardly horse shit. Saved it. Okay. Are there limits to what I can pick up? I don't care, I'm taking everything. Oh, damn, Jackie! Nice job! Nice job! He's doing stuff. Duh. Leave the music on. We don't want to cause suspicion by suddenly changing what's happening inside. That is, uh, what is that? Is that a floodlight? There's one guy there. Ceiling fan? I can even break the ceiling fans? Hack them? I mean, I guess so. But there's only one guy left. Right? Well, there's more rooms here. Give me that. I know we picked up a lot of stuff, but I don't know... I don't have time to look at it right now. Later on, later on. Careful now. Is he looking here? I think we went all the way around him. He's the only guy left. We're fine. But if we're time limited, then maybe we don't want to be doing that. Just don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Ah, all cleaned up. Yeah, good, huh? Not bad. Three messages. Need someone to watch your back from animals are alpha. Dangerous pro danger prowls Night City. Got a stalker on your trail? Hired iron out for your blood? Some freak giving you crook looks and bad vibes? Or maybe you're just looking to pad your personal security? The animals got your back. Survival of the fittest. Only law that matters in Night City. You hire us, we get people for you. Become the king of the jungle. <laughs> a, little, a little emoticon. Cow emoji. Implants for cheap, cheap, cheap. Huge savings. Discounted secondhand cyberware. Don't miss out. Plastic sin skin. Pink. Tech hair. Green. Alloy feet. Chrome. Synthetic calf muscle. Yeah, people can't afford the new stuff, so they gotta get old stuff. But that probably comes with its own problems. Pay or your head will explode from Nightmare. Hey, Chum. Today's your unlucky day. You're probably wondering who I am. I'm a voodoo boy. Probably heard of us. Remember last time you hit the net? Yeah? Me too. I hack your co-processor and install a little surprise for you. Now you do what I say or your head goes boom. I think 1,000 euro dollars is fair pay to keep your head. If you pay, I uninstall my surprise. If not, I blow up your head, but blow up the head of the person you love the most. And if you tell NCPD, I blow up your head twice. You have two days to pay? I know you read this because I installed spy cam in your optics. We read it together. This is not a negotiation, Chim, so don't reply. Just pay and you will live. Is this spam or is it real? I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, mommy. Flat out daughter, we could be that sneaky. 
Yeah, you got a corpo drone here. That's what I'm good at. It's not my favorite way to roll, but Nova anyway. More armor. I hope there isn't a limit on how much I can pick up. Because otherwise, I might be hitting it very soon. <laughs> I'm reading all of that, don't worry. Just not in the middle of a mission, you know? Fresh meat again? Oh, this is a non-replied version. No, oh, it's the same one. Same one. I'm guessing this part is the same everywhere, the net part. Well, why is it so low res? Toys. Got a lot of good stuff. Hand from Zeta Tech. Uses biosignature, but we ordered a jailbreak. Militech lock on sites, wonder where this gonk got it. Arasaga hormone regulator, no biosignature. Hmm. Second hand stuff to Artyom. The currency is Euro dollars. And my bank account is certainly a lot less lighter than before. What about outside? Just gonna take all this crap for now. Okay, we're on a job right now. I'm not gonna spend it sightseeing. Just gonna look around for the important stuff for now. Jesus oh, Christ. shoot. Oh no! I think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. <sighs> this does not look good. She's in a tub of ice, crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Heard people who live through shit like this get panic attacks without ever knowing why. You'll be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shake it. V, Jack, into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. She might not even know what happened to her. God. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomod. Her eyes are flashing. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything change? Greeting, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon Clave's trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Can we talk about that later? Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Hey, what about the guy? Is that guy dead already? Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, V. Do your thing. Well, the other guy's not our client. It's a reality of things. Oh, fuck! She's flatlining! Oh no. V, need to know what's going Jack, on. Jackie air hypo! Fuck, this is bad! Catch, Chica! <sighs> I think. Holy shit, it worked! Fuera, chica. Get her outside. Shiz. Mm. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. Landing. Stand clear. Initiate 
initiating security protocol. Follow all instructions. Oh. Stop in the doorway. Your platinum member. Oh, stay away. It's a stay away. Stop in the doorway. Wait, it's a stay away. Wait, oh, wait, oh, I'm so sorry. You meant right here. <laughs> this doorway, not that doorway. Place the patient on the ground. Five steps back. Now. Wow. TT 133 to control. Patient NC 570442 secured. Stimulus being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 fibrinogen. Dude, they were pointing a gun at me the whole time. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. <laughs> Good work. Shit show's over. Is that openable? Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Shiz. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Huh. I got a date with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. You're gonna look poor. You're saving my ass, V. Ooh. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. You know what? The very end of the hallway, I still want to have a look. Earlier, I kind of just poked in, but I didn't go to the very end. It's the kind of hallway where if you go to the very end, something is here, right? No, I'm wrong. Okay, fine. Well, that was our first mission. It felt like we were doing something heroic because we're saving somebody. But knowing Cyberpunk, I feel like it probably was for a more money-related reason. Yeah, it's not like we were being altruistic. It's just that money speaks. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Wakako. Oh, my life coach is still here. Hey! <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. I... I hope so. Of course she's alive and well. It's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Fast job! Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Chica. I'm driving. Beat you to the car. Aha! Hey! What gives? That's a thing, right? Come on, that's gotta be a thing. How come I can't pick it up? <laughs> you can't do this to me. You can't show it to me and not... Oh, man. I'm sorry, buddy. I try to get you, but... They want to keep me from you. They want to keep me. Hello? Hey! Oh, you're on this side now. Because you're the driver, of course. Get going, big boy. The gig. Wait for the lockdown to end. How's the new life, V? Not a corporal drone anymore. We're broke as heck. Can't stop digging Night City. Yeah. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, Chica. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland, Adam Smasher, 
Legends are born here. City of opportunities and dreams and dystopian lifestyles. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, you're locking down Watson, member. Oh shit. You're right. Is it just me or oh, can know it? Stand on our ass, tailing us. Hello. I don't like this. Uh oh. Might be the scavengers, huh? Okay. As a passenger, drawing your weapon allows you to lean out the window and use your entire arsenal of equipped equipped range weapons. Is this all right? The police aren't gonna get us. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Get the drivers if we can. B, aim for the driver. I'm aiming. Chicago. <sighs> Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Scavenge. Wait, 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 wait. Is that okay? Having a shootout on the streets? Police not gonna be mad? Or maybe they'll only be mad if they find out? Oh, wow. Damn. We're pulling out all the stops. Kabuki. Oh. This is a quarantine. Cordoned off. What does the lockdown to for the nerdist? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you? Really? Wait, did he jam me? What's it that makes me so fast? Why is my system malfunctioning? Uh, heart of gold. Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? I can actually hack this, but there's no reason to, and I I don't have the the RAM. Uh huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe, but he's a good kid. Let them through, but they're the last. Thanks. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. <laughs> Pretending to be a good boy worked. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gut. Right. <laughs> I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. <laughs> we took Little China. Dumbass thought he'd get in with no What's striking me right now is that we can hack at any time and look at anything at any time. Oh, what? Zeta Tech Surveyor. Doesn't look like your average bust. Zeta ain't your average badges. Max Tech, NCPD's apex predators. M Tech rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gonk's out there though, just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards, but they had it coming. Max Tech, people to be afraid of. Okay, random shootouts. Seem to be commonplace. No one really cares. There is so much to look at. Made it. Almost at your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V. Don't let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah. 
I'll play nice Jackie again. <laughs> you a talker, huh? Oh my god. I'm just blown by everything I'm seeing here right now. Like these. This feels very next gen. Mm hmm. Sweet dreams, then. Thanks, man. Tell Miss I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Ahí luego. Be sure to bring that car back. All right. Cool, we have one attribute point, one perk point. I don't know what's good, though. What should I put it in? First of all, attribute point versus perk point. Right now we're level two. Okay, so leveling this one up would be leveling up a perk. Leveling this stuff up would be attribute, right? And then the level of my perks determine what perks I or uh, attributes I see here. Is that what's going on? I think so. Okay, so maybe what I'll do is... Um... Hacking a little bit more. This is a uh, net running. Net running means hacking. Yeah? More RAM capacity seems like it'll be pretty important for hacking stuff. Sure. Didn't see anything new for now, but that's okay. One perk point available. Oh, it's the opposite. This is an attribute. These are perks. Breach protocol. You want to tell me what these mean? <laughs> I don't know what these mean. Well, so far, I mean, hacking and being sneaky seems like it's getting us somewhere. Stealth. Level 2. Because we were using the skill. Can we see more info on what this means? Guess I'll put more in cold blood. Oh, okay, there's like an entire br- Wow, okay, there's a lot going on here, holy crap! Will to survive. Cold blood. After defeating enemy, gain cold blood for 10 seconds, increase movement speed by 2. I see veins. Oh, whoa, how do I- How do I know what I want? I don't know. Quick hacking? Allows RAM to recover during combat. Quick hacks deal 10% more damage. Eliminating a target affected by a quick hack instantly recovers one RAM unit. Oh, reveals an enemy netrunner when they're trying to hack you. Okay, I mean... I don't think we'll know how to distribute things until later on, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll know when people are hacking me. Cool. Alright. Okay, let's go home. Let's go home, or maybe like, grab a drink or something. <gasps> Can I hack this? Distract enemies. Well, I don't have enemies here right now. I can make it malfunction, but I can't make it give me a drink, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's go home. Oh boy, it's been a big long day for us, huh? This is insane. Oh, wait, what? Does that not work? Am I just waiting? Oh! <laughs> it's already here. That's why I couldn't call it. Of course, ads everywhere. Good evening, Night City. My first oh. tonight is the president Bye. of the church. Of Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deets. Job from T Bug. Develop net running skills. Complete it when I get a chance. Second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip End program. Which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. I love treating you, beautiful. Can't complain, Ziggy. I'm not willingly watching an ad. Now, even though I kinda want to. to talk about <laughs> the most exclusive and highly sought after implant on the market today. Arasaka Corpse Relic. But maybe we ought to make sure our fair audience is up to speed. Karina, what is Relic exactly? In a word, if you could. In one word? I'd say... Immortality. Immortality? Really? That's right. Relic allows you to transfer the consciousness from a dying person, finding a new home for their soul on a transferable chip. Oh. This person 
They'll never leave your side. A companion forever with you in your own consciousness. Just... Child, child, think for a moment about what you're saying. This relic is an abomination that feeds on human misery. It is an unnatural likeness. A golden we have a debate talk show here on the ethics of choosing certain implants versus not. The soul. But they can promise nothing more than a heartless, mindless algorithm speaking with the voice of the departed. What's more, this technology is just another tool of coercion and corruption. Only the wealthy and powerful elite will have access. And they will pay any price in exchange for a chance at this so-called immortality. Well, that is true that Arasaka Corp has specifically limited access to the relic in order... Your promise is a lie! An evil lie! Motivated Ooh. by greed and... He's getting angry. <laughs> now that is rich! Hey, excuse me? False promises, greed, a lust for power. Why, it sounds an awful lot like a church to- What? <laughs> How dare you? Do you not promise a life after death? Do you not charge funeral fees to a family in mourning? Maybe the reverend is just afraid of some healthy competition, huh? Competition? You believe- He's got a cross on his forehead, I just realized. Counted, measured, rationalized. And wouldn't we be right? We can construct artificial brains, create new consciousness. But I ask you why? What does that give us? Are we as a people on this earth any happier for it? You claim that this relic gives eternal life. But all I see is an eternity of suffering. Rather than say goodbye, we haunt ourselves with their voices, their presence. What do you folks think? Who holds the truth? Is it Ms. Lee or maybe Reverend Kohler? That is up to you. Send Kohler or Lee to 7892 to cast your vote and enter your name for a chance to win tickets to this year's playoff. City! Until next time, Night City. Toodles. I can't believe we sat here and watched the whole thing. Not sat, we crouched here. I can see- oh my god. I'm just thinking about how long we'll be spending just reading and looking at stuff at this rate. Hey. Residents, my neighbors! Hi guys. How's it hanging? What do you want? Just, just sing a, you know, saying hi to my neighbors. Oh, this costs money. No thank you. I can hack them to make them malfunction, but again, I can't make them give me a drink. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid to get it fixed the last two. Gotta be some kind of scam. Why can't I pick it up? Is it supposed to be like that, or am I doing something wrong? I just can't get the right angle. Oh, whatever, it's probably junk. Okay. In my place. Home sweet home. Oh. Yeah. My home. Can I can I shower? You didn't take off your shirt. Your clothes are all wet. <laughs> oh, oh, why would you do that? What kind of a design is this? These things are gonna get flushed down the toilet one day. This is not a good design. Are you looking now, V? A little bit rough. Yeah, the- something about the- it's the DLSS setting in the- the game that's making the mirror really blurry. Not that we're really gonna look at it that often, but it's a little bit sad. I can't even see my smile properly. Even in the beginning mirror cutscene, I had to like, keep switching my quality settings, but uh, yeah. I am looking to get that figured out sooner rather than later. Hmm, our job is to go to bed. I mean, that's my... Yeah, that's my task. Have a little bit of music around here. Why not? 
New release brain dances. Yeah, let's do some reading now. We're back home. What's up, BD Maniacs? Hungry for a new emo rush? Then check out the latest word from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There is nothing else. It is you. But it is also just a tool for your mind to interact with the world. But what would happen if this tool tried to live its own life? What if it tried to kill you? Though not a particularly original addition to the thriller genre, this brain dance featuring Luke Pollard is still a solid, experimental ride. The fear of disobedient implants has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs. Well, maybe not that long. As a result, the trope has been pervasive in film, brain dance, and urban legend alike. Still, Foreign Body borrows some of the genre's best elements while it's still incorporating just enough new stuff to the mix to keep it interesting. After all, it's not every day that you see the world from the perspective of a sentient arm. This is like a... it sounds like a music review. What is a brain dance? Plugging music into your brain? And maybe visuals? Maxwell's Rehab. This brain dance season has been shot full horror, but this one stands out from the rest. The always phenomenal Maxwell Ramirez is pushed to the brink of cyber psychosis so we can relive his return to normalcy. The title offers a tone of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You will relive Maxwell's slip into the psychosis, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual reintegration into a world that is now far different from how he left it. This BD is a must-relive of the season, but it's not for the faint of heart. Oh, okay, maybe rather than music, it's like... other people's visions? Memories? Whatever they make it. Badlands Raid. At last, a BD for those looking for something a little lighter. Badlands Raid is a remake of the 2023 classic, which was an innovative tour, the force of the time. For those of you unfamiliar, the plot revolves around an ordinary boring guy who accidentally gets tangled up in a nomad ambush in a Zeta Tech convoy. I won't spoil it, because even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days probably don't know the ending. What I will say is this, the remake's creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make for a pleasant surprise to classic lovers and newbies alike. Okay. I'm thinking what we'll do is... Whenever we're, like, walking around leisurely, I'll probably read the text on the spot. Whenever we're kind of doing something tense, I'll pick it up and read it later on. And then probably read one or two from time to time. Slowly try to catch up. It's a little bit late to say now, but if it's your first time watching me, if you're new to the channel, I usually read everything. So I imagine this is going to be a pretty long playthrough. I don't think it's going to be short at all. I also plan on doing all the side quests, or at the very minimum, the ones that have story content. It's definitely gonna take a while, but I do feel like I have a pretty good track record for finishing games, no matter how long they are. So we'll be in this for the long haul. Mustache... of weapons that I picked up during the quest? How do I read this? V's inventory. Storage. This is stuff I got inside. Oh! Can I like, um... Oh, this is stuff I got from... Actually, I'm not sure where I got it, but it was a GOG thing. Wolf school jacket? The Witcher? Office blazer? What's that? Galaxy t-shirt? Oh, Fee's favorite top. Bought shortly after the first job with Jackie. 5.9 armor. Do we have anything that's a little bit better? No, not right now. Not right now. What about the stuff I picked up? This is 9.9. .9. Yeah, isn't this way better already? Or even this one. Frayed scav combat shirt. Oh, oh no, 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 I put it in the storage. No. Um, okay, this is cool. How do I equip the stuff? Just wondering... The inventory is pretty Witcher-like, too, so we can probably figure it out based on that. Here's my gal. Yeah, this is like Geralt's interface, pretty much. My favorite top. Unfortunately, it's not the most protective one. Oh, that's so gaudy! That is so gaudy. Okay, we're taking it. This is worse. Okay. I mean, yeah. Let's read one or two things. Yeah? Where do I find that? K. 
character? No, 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 no. If I exit out of here. Journal. Messages. Shards. Messages. I have none. Messages like text messages? The Merc. Hmm. What is that? I can't click on it. Oh, yeah, we can skip time too. So just like The Witcher 3. Right, right, right. Ooh, okay. Databases, codex entries. Let's worry about this stuff later on. Oh my god, even vehicles. There's like 20 million entries for cars? Jeez. Oh, okay, read about people, yeah? Corpo V. Few leave the corporate world with their lives. Few are still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. We already read this. <laughs> Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood, and an even prouder son of Mama Wells. Jackie's stubborn. When he wants something, he won't stop or shut up about it until he gets his hand on it. Jackie always wanted a lot out of life, maybe too much. As a teenager, he joined the Valentino's gang, but realizing how much he was capable of, he quit. For years, he hustled through the unforgiving world of Merc work, because you need more than a go-getter attitude to sit at the big boy's table. You need street cred. Jackie's life goal has always been to become a legend at the afterlife and make a heap of eddies along the way. Hmm. He's kind of like my best friend now. T-Bug T-Bug is a textbook example of how solos and netrunners really aren't all that different. Both take on risky contracts that usually end in dust-ups, with corporations or the law, ever walking the tightrope between life and death. After all, black ice isn't any less dangerous than taking a bullet. T-Bug's well aware of this fact, and is a legit specialist in her field. She's fully within her rights to be picky about her contracts. Unlike more reckless netrunners, T-Bug tends to sail into retirement age, preferably with enough eddies to leave this goddamn city behind for good. Wakako Okada If you're looking for decent paying gigs in Westbrook, go to the pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street, run by a fixer named Wakako Okada. Fixer? Is a fixer somebody who does implants? Rumors abound, but as of yet, nobody's worked up the nerve to ask her about her past and her very many, very dead husbands. She didn't kill any of them, probably, but hey, what's important is that they're gone, and that she's still going strong, growing richer and more powerful by the day. Every serious player in Night City respects Wakako. Going into a meeting with her is like getting into a cage with a lioness. Sure, the lioness is polite, but you can tell she's already thinking about her next snack. Maybe that's why Wakako's gigs are carried out almost immediately and flawlessly. Wakako takes this entirely for granted. Well, we seem to be on good terms, and if everyone respects her and we're on good terms with her, that can't be a bad thing. Let's leave the reading at that for now. And get some shut-eye. 